There is just something about Street Fighter video game that as long as I can do Fireball, DP, and Tatsu, my character is automatically fair. As long as you can do that, you're automatically fair. I don't understand when people say at least they're playing Street Fighter. What does that mean? People say Ken's honest but JP's broken. Where? That's all I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to figure out. I understand certain characters don't like play the same, but not everyone has to shoot fireball DP Tatsu, because you know that's boring. At least in, in Street Fighter games, you know, you got unique character designs like Dawson and Rashid. I think Rashid's cool. I think Rashid's playing Street Fighter. He's been in two Street Fighter games. Is there a limit of how many Street Fighter games you have to be in before you're actually playing Street Fighter? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't understand. What I truly don't understand is all the JP hate. Like, I get JP strong, but he definitely doesn't need to be banned. I played much worse characters than JP. This character's very silly. I think the problem is, when I think of Street Fighter, you know, I'm thinking of footsies, fundamental, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of footsies, fundamentals, anti-airs, you know, normal Street Fighter stuff. But JP does all of that. He has the footsies buttons, even though there's no hurt boxes on these things. He can anti-air, and he has a fireball. So, I don't understand. JP's definitely playing Street Fighter. The most non-Street Fighter thing JP has is this. But, everyone has this. I don't understand. I, I legit don't understand. Dry Rush is the most non-Street Fighter thing JP has, and every character has it. I- okay. This moves anti-Street Fighter, I- I get, but- I'm not gonna say it's like a DP, I can't say that. Portals and Spikes? Bro, if you played any other fighting game, any other fighting game, did did, did Viper not have Seismo in, in 6? I mean in 4? I'm trying to think, has there ever been a move like this in a fighting game? I'm trying to think, I know Testament has a move like this. I can't think of another character with a move like Portal. And I'm downplaying JP, yes, this is, this is what I was waiting for. My, my moment to finally downplay JP. Lost Warrior? Okay, we're not bringing DNF into this. Because if we bring DNF into this, I think DNF's a bad game. And if I ever compare Street Fighter 6 to DNF, then I think Street Fighter 6 is a bad game. I think the problem with this game is every character plays the same and every same hit leads into the same thing into... You're, it's kind of hard to get out of it. Luke does it. Jamie does it, but very badly. Jury does it. JP is broken for another reason. Lily sucks. Marissa just one-shots you. Uh, DJ doesn't do it. Cammy does it. Reed technically does it, but very badly. He's in the Jamie boat. Honda doesn't do it. Blanca doesn't really do it. Uh, Guile is in the same boat being broken as JP boat. So they're in the boat together, just them two. Uh, Ken does it, Chun-Li does it, Rashid does it, Dalsum sucks, and Geef's only good if you sneak up. So, I think the problem is a lot of the characters play the same. What does everyone else do? Uh, Kimberly's game plan is cool, but like, you can't really get it off a lot of the time. I don't, I don't, this is kind of where I'm going to with the Shoto bias as well. Kimberly got nerfed immediately during the beta, but you know, Jury, you know, the Foot Clan jury sex foot whatever, whatever these jury players are talking about. And the Guile player, the Guile players don't get nerfed because, you know, they've been playing uh, Guile for 30 plus years and he can't really change anything. Them two didn't get nerfed, even though I thought they were way better than Kimberly in the beta. Guile got nerfed though, not enough. Ken was winning every tournament in the beta though. Okay. I think that one was, I think people didn't think Ken was that good in the beta because he said, like you said, Ken was winning every tournament in the beta. Everyone kind of was just like, you know, Chris T, you know, was just a little bit better than everyone else for reasons. So they were kind of just looking the other way. They were like, maybe when the game actually gets more flushed out, uh, that won't happen. But uh, yeah, I mean, Ken was so decent in the beta. I don't even think, to be honest, I don't think Marissa's that viable. I think Marissa's silly. I think Marissa's game design is silly. And JP is only good. If J I think legitimate, if JP didn't have amnesia, he would be he would be garbage. I think characters like Marissa's design is just dumb. I think I think characters designed like Marissa is just unhealthy for fighting games. But it is what it is. And like I said, she's not even the best character. Cause like even Nago is just like uh I, I think Nago's cool, but I definitely think that design's unhealthy. The 
I'm just gonna swing and if you get hit, you might die, but I'm mad slow. No, nah, I don't think so. I think every JP player would complain a thousand percent about JP if he didn't have amnesia. I think JP would literally go down the Monat rabbit hole how she was in five if JP didn't have amnesia. Yeah, he still has portal. JP has every other move except amnesia. So the problem with JP if amnesia got taken away is imagine if amnesia wasn't in the game and Ken just did, you know, this. How is JP getting out of this? If I don't have amnesia, Ken has no reason to ever respect you. He's just gonna run his shit. But you know, the thing with this game and why I think that, yeah, it's funny enough. The thing with this game, JP is not stopping that. He might stop it a few times, but you know, if one good drive rush gets in, JP might've just lost the game. That's how I feel with Manon. I feel like you can play neutral with Manon. The thing that's dumb about the game is if Ken does this, what do you do? You corner, and then you gotta get up. But I don't have a reversal. JP is good enough that Amnesia makes people respect you automatically, but that's kind of it. If J like, that's why I think if JP didn't have Amnesia, he would just lose a lot of the time. He would lose way faster. I think JP, uh, I think Amnesia is literally the only thing keeping JP out of the, the garbage bin. I think the offense is way too good in this game. If JP couldn't do this, I would probably hate JP a lot less. I think this is silly, but like I said, this isn't a JP exclusive. I'm trying to think of things that are just like mutually JP exclusive. I, I feel like more of the complaints about the game are more universal mechanics, less than like character mechanics.